This episode of D News is brought to you by Norton Security. Flying around the world without any fuel isn't just for the birds. <laughs> Hey guys, Amy here for DNews. As fuel prices soar and the carbon footprint of air travel gets bigger, isn't it nice to imagine a world where solar-powered planes fly from city to city without using up a costly natural resource? Well, we're on the way to seeing that dream become a reality. Next month, Swiss pilots André Borschberg and Bertrand Pical will begin a slow but steady flight around the globe without using any fuel. Their airplane, Solar Impulse 2, is entirely solar-powered. Solar Impulse 2 is a revolutionary single-seater aircraft made of carbon fiber so it's ultra-light. It weighs just under 7,055 pounds, which is about what a small car weighs, and its wingspan is comparatively massive. From tip to tip, Solar Impulse measures just over 263 feet, which is larger than the wingspan of a Boeing 747. On these wings are more than 17,000 solar cells designed to recharge 2,077 pounds of lithium batteries. The batteries store enough energy to allow the airplane to fly at night, too, supplying continuous energy to its four engines. So it should be able to fly around the world without stopping, right? Well, not quite. Solar Impulse 2 is almost all wing. The cockpit is just over 134 cubic feet and can only support one pilot at a time. There are no facilities, no in-flight meal service, and no place to rest. So Borschberg and Pical will be alternating legs of the journey. They will start from Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates, then make several stops in India, China, the US, and Europe before returning to Abu Dhabi. If everything goes according to plan, they should complete the trip in late July or early August. The flight is going to take a while because Solar Impulse 2 can't fly that high or that fast. After its unveiling last April, the solar plane made its debut flight in Switzerland last June. It reached a maximum altitude of 5,500 feet and flew at an average ground speed of just 35 miles per hour. That isn't the first long-distance solar-powered flight these two pilots have made. In the summer of 2013, they flew from California to New York in the predecessor aircraft, Solar Impulse. It was also a slow journey, though not quite as slow. It reached a top speed of about 53 miles per hour. It'll be really interesting to see how this flight develops, and more interesting to see how this technology eventually trickles into the commercial market. But it'll still be a while. This solar-powered plane is the first of its kind, and change doesn't always come quick to the aviation industry. Flying people all around the world is a massive business that can't stop while new technologies are introduced. So if solar-powered planes do become commonplace, not only is it a way off, but it will likely be a slow transition. So what about you guys? Are you keen to fly by solar power? Providing that there was a washroom on board, that is. Let us know in the comments below, or you can find me on Twitter as AST Vintage Space. And don't forget to subscribe for more D News every day of the week. This episode of D News is brought to you by Norton Security.